Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante and this is day two of theCUBE's coverage of Falcon 2022. We're live from the Aria in Las Vegas. Everybody was out last night at the Brooklyn Bowl. Awesome band, customers were dancing. Yeah. A lot of fun, a lot of business going on here. Todd Crosley's here, he's to my left. He's the Senior Director of Cloud Partnerships at CrowdStrike and Patrick McDowell is the Global Technical Lead for Security Partners at AWS. These guys have been partnering for a long time and we're going to dig into that partnership. Gents, welcome to theCUBE. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. Thanks. Happy thank to be here. You're very welcome. Hey, Todd, talk about the, the history of, of the relationship. You guys are kind of bet business on each other, but take yeah, us back a few yeah, years. Yeah, sure thing. So, you know, yesterday or the day before, the company turned 11 years old or so. I think George talked a lot about that the other day. But uh, we've actually been working closely with the Amazon team for more than five years at this point, and it's really evolved into a strategic collaboration, really. So, uh, from the executive on down into field alignment, channel alignment, uh, the marketing team, and and the build team, where we we work with Patrick and his extended team on mm -hmm. different service integrations and different. Uh, you know, effectively positive security outcomes for the customers together. I mean, Patrick, if you think about the history of AWS, it's like you guys realized you had lightning in a bottle and yeah. then we also realized, wow, an, an ecosystem play is the way to go. And when you go to reInvent, it's palpable, the, yep. the ecosystem innovation and the, the flywheel effect that you've created. But what's AWS's perspective on the partnership with CrowdStrike? Yeah, it's essential to us and our customers, right? So we've been doing deep integrations probably since I think the first big one of CrowdStrike was with Guard Duty, uh, Amazon Guard Duty, which is our uh, easy to use threat detection service in AWS, one click on, and their threat intelligence actually build, is built directly into that service. So an AWS customer turns on Guard Duty, uh, it's automatically uh, being uh, enhanced and enriched with Falcon X threat intelligence uh, by default. Yeah. So the cloud has become the first line of defense for a lot of the CISOs that I talk to, you know, they're all, everybody's cloud first, cloud first. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, that's awesome because cloud has really good security. But then it's okay, but if there's some differences, I got to, there's a shared security model that right. I have to understand. And, and so when you guys talk to customers, I know it's you know, one of the leadership principles is you got to be yeah. focused, you know, insanely focused on customers. CrowdStrike, very customer focused as well. That's how you sort of created this company that is doing such innovative things. What are customers telling you um, about how they want you to work together? What kind of feedback are you getting? Any other examples that you might have in the yeah, field? Yeah, sure thing. Um, I'll go first. So, that, well, so they, they depend on, uh, the, the, like you said, this shared security model, but there's ample opportunity where vendors like CrowdStrike, and we've worked with Patrick's team extensively to, to pinpoint areas where we can provide. So examples of that would be like on the, in compute. So like you recently released the Graviton processors. We've had a recent success with a customer where uh, they've walked down their digital transformation journey. They had, they were looking to switch over to the Graviton processors and we work closely with Patrick's team to say, okay, we're going to certify our sensor uh, on that particular area of compute so the customer continue to enjoy CrowdStrike in our single platform, cloud first, uh, native platform to say, okay, you've got skill sets on the on-prem environment, your endpoint environment, and good news, you're switching to Graviton, no problem, we still support that. And we've been able to do that by working closely with each other, inclusive, not just the architects, but the product teams work closely together as well. Yeah, in this customer case, um, you know, uh, CrowdStrike already supported for Amazon Linux, but this customer, a very large customer of ours, needed to move 10,000 EC2 instances to Graviton on Red Hat Linux, not Amazon Linux. Yeah. So we got CrowdStrike engineering, our engineering, our architects, and we were able to get this customer Red Hat support for Graviton within two months, right? In production, ready to go, and unblocked this migration. So I love the Graviton example. It's the one I always default to when somebody says, oh, we're cloud native. I say, oh, are you running on Graviton? Uh, because, because Graviton is, is, is uh, Amazon's custom silicon that yep. complements what you're doing with Intel, what you're doing with AMD, and there are all kinds of different instant types. Mm. But it's based on an ARM system and it's delivering new levels of performance and, and, and energy reduction, if I can use that term, mm -hmm. um, and, and, and it's on a new curve. Yeah. And, and so, tremendous cost savings as well. Yeah, right, right. I, think, yeah. I think out of the box, with no change in the application, you're yeah. getting 20%, and that's, and I, I don't even think you're really driving it as hard as you can, is my <laughs> assessment, but yeah. you got to be conservative these days. Yeah. So, but that's an example of, of how you're using, from a technology standpoint, cloud native, yeah. and then 
and then sort of partnering, there's this you know, Graviton 1, Graviton 2, Graviton 3, yeah. I'm sure there'll be Graviton 10 someday, so, right? No doubt. I, I think it's a good example of us working closely together, paying attention to the customer needs, and making sure they don't, they don't miss a step and, and <clears throat> still stop the breach and pay attention to their security needs. So you're part of the APN, the Amazon yep. Partner Network. Yep. What do you got to do to be like certified at an elite level there? You probably have to go through a lot of hoops and uh, yep. maybe you could describe what you guys do there and how you work together to ensure that a company is adequate and more than adequate for its customers. Yeah, sure thing. So we, we've participated in and we're certified in, for example, the security competency area, which elevates us amongst other security ISVs. We're one of the few that have that. Um, we have the well, we're, we participate in the well-architected pr program, which means that we've demonstrated a common set of criteria and customer references. I mean, that's a example. Um, another area where we've participated quite a bit is in, in the land of digital supply chains notably AWS Marketplace, where we've uh, latched onto many of their features and capabilities and uh, participated in strategic programs, whether it be um, you know, including the channel partner or taking a look at traditional private offers or taking a look at like the in looping in the entire ecosystem to make sure the customer gets what they need. So. How, do, how do you integrate with things like Control Tower? Like where, where are the seams? And how do you make that as seamless as possible for customers? I mean, maybe you could explain what yeah. Control Tower yeah, is. Yeah, so uh, they have multiple integrations with Control Tower. Uh, for their CSPM Horizon, uh, it automatically onboards new AWS accounts. So, uh, you know, as you're vending accounts, you're giving to more DevOps teams, Horizon is automatically deploying and being protected those accounts. So it has those guardrails in place for customers in a nice, easy to use deployment model that you don't have to think about, right? So yep. um, Control Tower in general is, is uh, it, it kind of gives customers guardrails and an easy button. If you're new to AWS, I'm migrating. Hey, AWS, can you just tell me the best practices? How should I set up my accounts? Uh, I need a landing zone, I'm doing migration. So it's really like a wizard for getting started in AWS and CrowdStrike integrates that with Falcon Discover and as well as Falcon Horizon and yep. their agents. So. Yeah, yeah. You guys really don't compete. Um, you know, maybe there's some overlap. Overlap is better than, than gaps. Uh, but you, when, you, when you take something like you know, network firewalls and yeah. things like that, Amazon brings that to the table, and then CrowdStrike will build <clears throat> on top of that, is that correct? Yeah, um, I'll, I'll take this one. Uh, so George has said it, CrowdStrike is not a network security company, right? right. Uh, however, they have an integration using their threat intelligence on, on our Amazon network firewall. So AWS, Amazon, and CrowdStrike coming together actually have a joint offering for customers in a space that CrowdStrike has never been in before itself. So I think that's very exciting. So yeah. yeah, all those integrations that Pat's talking about, we've actually cataloged the whole thing on a GitHub page where we find that's where customers go. Yeah. They took a look at the integration and, and the supporting documentation. They're like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. This, th these two companies augment each other well and it, and it turns out to be a good outcome. And, and you take, you'll take telemetry data from the AWS cloud, you can take it from you know, any look, and your agents can run anywhere, right? Yep. And then you bring that into the, or I guess you sort of, <laughs> you index it, I, in my term, in, yeah. in, in the AWS cloud enables that, because you've got virtually unlimited scaling capability, and that's kind of where you guys started, you yeah. know, cloud native dogma, yeah, that's right? That's right, yeah, it's a competitive differentiator for us. Uh, I, we think it's nice, we, we're a market leader in our space, and Amazon's a, a market leader in their space, and, and we've got a lot of synergy together. Where do you guys, last question, where do you guys respectively want to see the, the relationship go, if you had to put on your binoculars, or even telescope, where, where do you want to see this go? <laughs> Well, I think, we're, I think we're all in the business of accelerating positive security outcomes for the customer. And the, what we're doing is we're spending a lot of time educating our respective fields and respective customers to know that these, these integrations do in fact exist. Uh, they absolutely complement each other. We were in a meeting, uh, you know, maybe six, 10 months ago, we were in a, a CIO said, I didn't know that the, two, that the two products work so well together, speaking about the control tower and horizon, particular example. Had I known that, I would have bought it uh, a lot quicker. This is, this is a great outcome, and the fact that you're working with Amazon together is, is a bit of a relief, so that, that was nice. 
Yeah, um, I'm going to echo what George Kurtz said in his keynote yesterday, that like, security's a journey, XDR's a journey. And I think the work that we did on the open cybersecurity schema framework, which is an open source common uh, security language that all vendors can use, including AWS and CrowdStrike, I think that is where we're going to see uh, the, the industry rally around yeah. in the upcoming year. There's so much security data. There's a common uh, now language that all products and clouds can talk to each other. On. That's right. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell me more about it. O OC SF, is yes. that right? Yeah. Where yeah. did that come from? And uh, yeah, it so um, it's it's a it's an open source framework, and you know, both CrowdStrike, AWS, and other uh, you know players in the industry are like. There's a common problem, none of our products talk together. It's all about customer benefit, right? So what can we do to uh, democratize security data, make things talk well, play together? Everyone wants to do more analytics on lots of data lakes, so this is where it's all coming together. Yeah, better collaboration yeah. in the industry obviously is, is, is needed, and then the other piece is education, you guys both yeah. sort of referred to. And that, that's what I, when I come to conferences like this, and reinforce as well, is a, yeah. a lot of it, I mean, I remember the first reinforce was like, explaining the shared responsibility yeah. model. Now, yeah. of course, a lot of people understood it, but a lot of people didn't. When you fast forward to 2022 at reInvent, it was a lot more focus on how to really exploit the capabilities that AWS has, and then here, CrowdStrike, it's like, okay, helping practitioners really understand how to take advantage of the full platform. That's right. and, and, and that's, to your point, yeah. Patrick, the journey. All right, guys, hey, we got to go. Thanks All so right, much right. for Thank coming. Thank you, you for having us. All right. All, right. All right, keep it right there. Fast and Furious, day two from CrowdStrike's Falcon 2022. You're watching theCUBE. Thank you.